Today I'm going to show you how to charge your MP3 player or your cell phone using a simple solar panel. So join me, won't you, as we freeload off the sun. Now there's going to be a few ways that we can pull this off. But I've found this method to be the easiest. The first thing to do is to get a 6 volt solar panel. You can get these anywhere. Radio Shack, Amazon, uh, geez, Fry's. They sell them all over the place. If you're having trouble locating one, hit the description below and I'll link to it. But one more thing you're going to need is a female USB connector. You can probably jack one of these out of your computer or out of an old device you have laying around. Basically we want to get it away from whatever cable it's got and just get the connector itself here. Now as I said earlier, we can pretty much take care of any MP3 player or cell phone or MP3 player cell phone, whatever you've got laying around, you know, it's fine. And the reason for that is most of these devices need 5 volts to charge the battery. And if we're getting this 6 volt panel here, then we shouldn't have a problem at all. That, that one extra volt isn't going to matter too much. Okay, so I've got my multimeter hooked up, and it looks like my solar panel's pouring a little bit over 4. So, we should be all set to go with this. Now, of course, it is kind of bright in here right now, and all the lighting that I have for this video is definitely contributing to the solar panel. Alright then, next step's really simple. Let's solder the female USB connector to the solar panel. All right, now go easy here. Start with your black or red cable, it doesn't matter which one you start with, but make sure you get it to the right part of the female USB connector. Now, you may have to try a couple times here if you can't tell what's positive and what's negative. So, simply give it a shot twice. You have a 50% chance though of it working on the first try. Once you've got your wires hooked up, you're ready to go. So let's test it out. Now we've got our connector soldered into the solar panel. We can plug in a USB device and then hook it up and see what happens here. And we get charge. As you can see there. If you like this video, come hang out with me on Facebook. The link's down there in the description along with all the other information you might need for this video. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Every Tuesday, we do a Scientific Tuesdays video where we do all kinds of chemistry and other various science experiments. So, see you next time.